Buck finally came for dinner. I was calling him. I actually gave an apple pieces of slice while I was waiting for him. I gave a slice to the squirrel, so the squirrel is actually, he or she is enjoying that apple. But I don't think that's the chunky one. I think that's a different one. Cause that one looks skinnier than the other one. Come on, big boy. I got apples. I already threw bread for the birds while I was waiting. I was sharing some of your snacks with the squirrels because they were hanging out close by. And now you came. You came, big boy. Yeah. Some grapes. Were you hanging out with Betty? Is that why you took your time to come? Were you hanging out with Betty? My big boy. Oh, I see Betty. She's coming. She's over there, guys. You see her? All the way in the back. She's walking. She's slowly coming. I had to fill up the crumb bucket. It was like totally empty. Oh, Betty's over there in the back forging all the way to the right. Well, not all the way to the right, but like in the middle, actually, in the back. You guys see movement back there? That's Betty. You were hanging out with Betty. Were you guys napping? Because I was calling you, calling you. I called him about like 10 times. I was about to go and die again. I was like, he's late for dinner. <laughs> but then you show up. You always show up when I'm about to go and die. It's like he knows or something. I don't know. Because every time I'm waiting for him for dinner time, literally the minute I like talk to myself in my head, like, okay, if he doesn't come in five, 10 minutes, I'm going to go and die. Then he shows up. It's like you read my mind. Do you read my mind, big boy? Yeah. You got it? Good boy. That's your girlfriend coming. The noise in the background, that's your girlfriend. Yeah. If she comes closer, I'll give her a few slices too of apples, but I don't know if she wants any. She's there, baby. Your girlfriend's still there. She didn't leave. She didn't leave you. She did. It's okay. Why'd you jump? Is there a squirrel on top of our head? Again. The tree that's right next to me, there's always like one of the squirrels that literally like jump and climb on that tree that's right next to us. And they always make the buck end up jumping. Oh, I see Betty. She's coming. Betty's coming slowly, but she's coming. Where is she now? I swear Betty blends in really good. Like with everything. Because I can I can never spot her until she gets like really close. Oh, but I see where she is. Okay, I see her. Let me see if I could throw a slice of apple. Maybe if she climbs the hill, Buck, she'll get it. I see her. I don't know. She's still down there. She's still, but she's slowly coming. Right, your girlfriend is slowly coming. Guys, she's right back there, see? She's coming slowly. Slowly but surely, she's coming. Right? Oh, and your girlfriend is scratching herself too. Don't tell me she has ticks too. I hope not. She's cleaning herself. You got more apples, Buck. Oh, you wanted the corn? I know, your corn bucket was empty. Either you or Betty, one of you guys ate it. Here, you got more apples. Hey, Piggy. You got more apples, Piggy. Let's see if Betty comes up. I have a feeling she's going to come up. She is right down there. I'm going to try to throw her a few slices of apple. Let's see if I can get her to come up. Let's see. She's looking, but come on, Betty. Okay. She's walking slowly. She's down there. I think Betty likes foraging more than apples because I throw the apples and she don't care. Fuck, she don't care, baby. I don't think she wants apples. That or Betty has never tasted apples. Here. Yeah. Betty has never tasted apples, so I don't think she knows what they taste like. Yeah, she's not coming up. But she's look she's looking up here, but easy big boy. Yeah, that's your girlfriend, Buck. That's Betty. It's okay. That's Betty. Here you got more apples. 
Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even know I had. I didn't have the camera on back. Yeah. Let's see if Betty comes up, Buck. Because if she comes up, I do have an extra apple for her. But I don't know if she's going to come up. I don't know. Where is she? I can't see her. I don't know where she went. I'm telling you, Betty blends in so well. Like right now, I can't see her, but I hear her walking. But I don't see her. You want more apples? You got more apples, Buck. Yeah. I'll throw some here. So maybe then if Betty comes, she'll eat some with you. Oh, she is coming up the hill, I think. Let me go sit down and cut the other apples just in case if she comes up. I'm going to sit down right here in my spot. Okay. And Buck's over here eating the apples. I just want to stay here. To see if i see betty coming up because i notice if i stay here where i'm sitting she'll come up as long as if i stay i have to stay quiet but because if i talk too loud or anything or talk too much she will get scared that's how she is you finish eating big boy i'm not gonna cut up the third apple because i don't know if you want it i mean he ate all the apple pieces that i threw to him that i gave him you eat it all? My big boy, you look nice and full, Buck. He's so stocky. Honestly, guys, ever since Buck's been in my life and I've been taking care of him, literally, like, he's been eating breakfast. <laughs> I mean, breakfast and dinner for the past three years since, you know, I spotted him, that we spotted each other. <laughs> he, look how good he looks. And when he first started coming, he looked exactly like he was skinny, like Betty. Like, Betty, she's skinny. Sometimes Betty looks thick the way she stands, like certain positions she stands. But Betty's actually a lot smaller than him and skinnier. Buck is a lot thicker than her. Like he's like double the size of her. Like when she's, when Buck stands next to her, he actually, like you can see it, the, the difference in size. Like Buck is stockier and bigger. Right? Because you're a big boy. My big boy loves his apples. He loves his apples, he loves his grapes. I hear Betty, she's definitely forging below the hill somewhere. I just, I don't know where, in between there somewhere. I hear her, but I don't see her. I'm telling you guys, she's good at hiding. <laughs> like blending, she's good. Buck is not good at doing that. <laughs> he doesn't blend in correctly with everything. But Betty, she does. Right, Buck? Your girlfriend knows how to blend with everything else that's in the woods. You want more apples or you full? I got more apples, Buck, if you want more. I'm gonna show it to him and see if he wants it. Sometimes I show it to him and if he wants it, he'll come. Let me see. Buck, you want more apples? Look. You want more? Look. He's cleaning himself for itching. You want more? Look, Buck. You want more apples or no? Oh, there's an ant on the apple. All right, I just blew it away. Because yeah, I had the apple on the floor. I should have never did that. I put it on the ground, and uh, who knows if ants even went inside of it. Buck, you want another apple, baby? My big boy, you want one more apple? Look, over here. Look, here. Turn around, baby. Turn around. You scratch yourself. Come here. I'll scratch your neck. You want more apples? Oh, no. Buck, look, over here. Look. Look. You want some? Over here, no, you turned around again, but the wrong way. You want apples? Look, this way. You want more? You look in your mouth, does that mean yeah? You want more? Yeah? Okay, I think that's yeah. Come here, I'll give it to you. Okay, I'm gonna slice up this apple. He's hanging out by the corn bucket. Uh, he's eating his corn. You eating your corn? Yeah. And apples? I wish I could spot Betty to see exactly where she's standing because I want to throw her a couple slices. 
I threw her a few slices before when she was below the hill, but he's enjoying his corn right now. That means when I, there was an empty bucket, Betty must have ate all the corn because Buck usually, when if he would have ate all the corn, he wouldn't be eating corn right now. He would have been like full from eating the corn. So since he's eating the corn right now, that means Betty must have ate like the finishing corn that wasn't there. Right? Is that why she's not coming up? Betty's nice and full? Betty probably is full with the corn. Because when I came up to the spot, I'm telling you, there was no more corn and no more, like a couple of drops of water today. So I'm sure they must have ate here. You would be nice and full? My big boy. It's okay. That's so cool. It's so funny, I'm feeding him in front of the in front of the buckets over here. Since when, Buck? Since when? What was that? A piece of apple. Where did that piece come from? Maybe the bucket? That was weird. I feel like a piece of apple just flew. I wonder if the squirrel grabbed it and dropped it. Because that was weird. It like flew by the side. Unless he dropped it while he was eating. Okay, I'll cut the apple right here, Buck, since we're standing here. He wants to be next to his corn right now. You want to be next to your corn? My big boy. What do you see? There's nobody. There's nobody. It's okay. It's okay, big boy. Yeah, I guess... Buck had three apples today for dinner. Oh, Buck, you're gonna be so full. You are gonna be so full, my big boy, you know that? Yeah, you're gonna be so full after this because you just had three apples. One of them was supposed to be for Betty, but I don't know. I don't know if she doesn't like apples or she doesn't know them. Maybe like, you know, she's never eaten apples. So when I give it to her, I, like I throw it towards her, she's probably like, what is this? Like, I don't want it because I don't know what it is. Buck, he knows his apples, he loves apples. No more, baby. No more. I love you. Okay, now you can finish your corn and drink your water. Okay. Let's see. He might be a little bit full now. Because <laughs> he just had three apples, I had like a stem of grapes, corn. What do you see? You see something I don't? He's definitely looking like in the street right now, like down the road. Because remember, straight all the way to the right is like the road. But it's fenced off, like on my side, like going down my driveway, you know, it's all fenced up. So that's why for Buck to get like into the street, he would have to walk like all, all the way that way and like jump over a fence. All right, Buck? So my baby never goes in the street. He really doesn't really go in the street. He always stays in the forest, always. Even the only time I could say he's in the street is when he comes on my side and walks like I'm on our property. That's it. He never like walks down the road or down my driveway to go into the street. Right, my big boy? You know to stay home? Like this is your home? He has it too good. He's like, why, why would I want to leave? Right, Buck? He's probably like, why would I want to leave? Even my husband said it. My husband was like, if I was in his shoes, I wouldn't want to leave either. He was like, I have a spot to go to that there's always water and food. And then the, like someone gives me goodies all the time. Why not? He was like, I would live that life too. <laughs> right, Buck? Now he's going to go use the bathroom. And I'm sure once he's done doing what he's doing, he's probably going to go look for Betty. I'm surprised he hasn't went to go look for her yet. I'm assuming she has to be close by for him not to like run to go look for her. Right, guys i'm gonna end this now because once he leaves i'm gonna go in my house and then go feed ginger her dinner i gotta go put her outside and deal with her butt <laughs> but i'm happy that he ate i got we got to see betty for a little bit you know but she didn't come all the way up to the spot but we got to see her a little bit 
and he ate well I mean listen they both ate well because Betty had to eat the corn from the bucket like I said usually for the bucket to be empty and him to come up and you know now and he's he was eating a lot of corn that means he didn't have much so at least now I know he's nice and full right Buck you're nice and full and now he's gonna go take his walk that's his route that he goes that's another route actually because he has wait one two he has about three routes that he's that he walks i just heard footprints i mean footsteps i think it was the birds yeah so i put two scoops of corn in there so there's corn there's water they got it all right buck you guys have it all so everything is all done and Buck is right, right now, Buck is literally right on that trail. He might come back, turn around and come back to me. I don't know. Or he might just go look straight for Betty. <laughs> right now, he's standing like right there at the edge of the hill, of that hill right there. He's standing at the edge looking down. So he's probably going to get ready to go walk and look for Betty. I'm sure. All right, everyone, I'm going to go now. I got to go and die now and deal with Ginger and go give her dinner. So me and Buck, we both will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Yeah, he's up there. <laughs> we'll be back with another video tomorrow morning. I hope everybody has a good evening and a good night. And me and Big Boy, we will be back tomorrow morning. I'm so excited that he has no ticks on him, honestly. And I think it was Jake that recommended me the spray, that trick with the spray. Thank you so much. Honestly, I really do believe it's working. I really do. It probably doesn't work quick. You know, it takes time for the, the everything in the spray to like, you know, whatever tick latches onto him, like, you know, to sense the spray and then to jump off or whatever. But I really do believe in my heart that that spray is working. Where is he? I lost him now. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's over there. I see him. All right, everyone. Ciao for now. I'm going to go. Ciao.